about how to add text and stickers and things like that to your videos. So let's start with a video. Uh, we've been doing YouTube style horizontal videos, but let's go for a TikTok style video just for a change. This is Canva Tips for Authors, where we teach authors how to use Canva for their book marketing. If you're an author and would like to talk to other authors about how to use Canva and get feedback on your designs, join the Facebook group. It is free. The link is in the description. If you'd like some free stuff, sign up for the newsletter. Again, link in the description. If you find these videos useful and you'd like to say thank you, there is a little donate link where you can buy me a cup of tea. Okay, well, let's find a video. Doesn't matter what, really. It's fine. I had a nice one that I was using. There. I found this video by going into elements and searching typing, I think. And it's free. If it has if it has a little crown there, it says pro, then you have to pay for it and you need Canva Pro. This does not have a crown, so it is free for you to use for social stuff. If you're curious and you'd like to try Canva Pro for free for a month, there is a link in the description. Um, if you use my link, I get something. I don't know, uh, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. All right, so here's our video. Let's cut it into two so that we've got two bits of video. Okay. Now we want to write some text about, I don't know. So we want to add some text. So we go to text, add text box. And there's your text and you can put whatever you like. Writers write. Which sounds obvious, but a lot of writers talk about writing, but don't actually write. And real writers write. They also talk about writing a lot. Okay, so you've got your text and you've changed the font sizes and stuff. Now let's... I'm just putting a guide there to remind me that the bottom third of most social media things um, has, has a lot of text and stuff and also this side down here. Anyway, so if you have any text, it's always best when you're doing things for TikTok to keep it up here. Okay, so that's all it, there is to it. That's how you put text in. Now you can do interesting things with this text. So you can animate it. So let's go for typewriter. That's a nice animation. There we go on enter and if you have pro, you can animate it word by word or character by character. See? Okay. So we're going to go with this. You can also change, you have, can have effects. So you can add a shadow to this text so that, you know, you've got a little bit of drop shadow and it looks a little bit 3D. If, or you want to, if you want to, you can add lift, which just puts a little bit of dark behind your text so it can stand out in front of your image. Um, you could do all these cool things like neon and glitch and echo. Uh, for the purposes of this, let's just go for a little bit of drop shadow. There we go. So now you've got your video and the thing comes in. If you want to delay when this comes in a little bit, if you click on it and usually it just appears, but if it doesn't appear, right click and you need to find element timing. Yeah. So that if you say after four and a half seconds, it disappears. Let's have a look. Let's go and just watch this page. And then after four and a half seconds, it disappears. And then if you want to add stickers, let's see if we've got an act now, take action. Oh, look, loads. And let's see what we've got for free. There we go. Act now. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just making it up as I go along. Right. So you've got an Act Now sticker and you want it to pop in. 
just as this right is right thing disappears. And you want it maybe down here. Oopsie. You want it maybe down here. And you want it to pop. So let's go look at animate and where's pop gone? Pop. There. Right. Now that you've messed with the timings and everything. Okay. I hope you found this useful. If you did, tell all your friends and I'll see you in the next video.